Hello YouTube, I'm late to the party and today I want to share with you some souvenirs that I bought while in Japan. I got the Bill Strike Gundam full package model kit. While in Japan for a holiday I wanted obviously a memento of my time in Japan, a little souvenir. Some of the things that I was more interested in were very expensive so I wanted to find that nice Nice price point, something not too expensive, that would look good, uh, that would sort of tick off things which I'm into, such as building. I like building different things. The model kits, when you get them, all the pieces are inside. And when you put them together, you should end up with an end product that looks like this. Or should I turn it around and show you... Yeah, this photograph. If inside this box the parts go together and form anything that looks like this, I will be extremely happy. Here is something to do with the story and a bit of a spec guide on the Gundam Mecha. Other than that it's apparently 17.7 meters tall, I have no idea, and 96 ton. What the rest of this says, I do not speak nor read Japanese. But I have never owned any of these kits before. And I simply picked this one up because I liked the look of the Mecca. With this kit box, I believe you not only are able to build this guy, but you also get this spaceship or drone, whatever this is. If you've seen the show, please tell me what it is. I would love that knowledge. It connects on as some sort of weaponry or some sort of backpack sort of thing. Makes it look as if you've got wings. Can flip around to form these like two guns. You also get as a bit of a gimmick. Three types of pistol, a shield and two swords. Along with that I also picked up. The Burning Gundam. Again, no real preference as I have never watched the show. But I might, I might, the next time I get a bit of spare time, I might start slowly building myself into the Gundam universe. With this model kit, it seems like there's no weapons. It seems to be because it's the burning Gundam, it's all about making it look as if it's on fire. So we have flaming fists and feet, flames coming out of the back. Other little parts that you can change from like a cool blue to a fairy orange. Different fist types. Fists open palm, sort of opened hand. I believe this one to be meant to be a bit more poseable than normal. And another great looking kit. This is just going to be a short video just showing you two Gundam model kits which I picked up and to explain that I'm a complete new, uh, noob to this sort of thing. I hope that it goes well. Oh, I can say this, from getting them home, I cracked up one of the boxes. Again, I only bought two because I didn't have any of these before, so I have no previous experience if they're good, if they're bad, if they're annoying to build. Um, I was also very short on luggage space, so could basically just fit the two to bring home with me. And yeah, I thought, start small, see if I enjoy these, see if I like them. See if I can build them. On one hand I kind of think, well, they're four kids, so can they really be that difficult? But I wasn't 100%. I know this is English, but were the instructions going to be in Japanese or English? I can now say with having opened this, that the instructions are in Japanese, but that it still shouldn't put anybody off, because as long as you can match the part up with the photograph, in the instructions, the parts are numbered. You can look at the image in the manual or the instruction guide, look at that, match up the number, and you know, if you see 2RO saying part 3 attaches to part 4, then come on, pretty simple. So, yeah, this is my new hobby. I say new hobby, it might only last two builds. I will persevere with them, get the two done, see how we go. But if anyone has any experience with these, if they could give me any tips, advice, 
Gaidens. Maybe they want to say in the comments if these two kits are anyway good, if they are bad. I have no idea. I picked them up solely because I liked how they looked and because they were at a nice price point. There was cheaper kits. In my mind, my logic went, if these are a bit more expensive, maybe these are a slightly better kit. Um, but by no means were they that expensive. I think both of these were roughly around, maybe a little bit more than a thousand yen, something like that. Uh, I am aware from coming home, I have searched and looked up what this HG business is about. High grade. There are better grades, more expensive, more poseable, you know, just better quality kits. The PG, the perfect grade, and the RG, the real grade. There may be, they're super deformed great as well, but those do not interest me. The models are like, you know, big head, small body type thing. There's, there's one right there. That would be a super deformed kit. Not into those. Don't see myself ever picking those up. I like things that look like they do in the anime. So that'll be the HGs, perfect grades, real grades, and that sort of thing. Hopefully, once these are built, I can do a follow-up video, show you how poseable they are, show you what has came in each of them, and if it, you know, matches up well with what is advertised on the box. And yeah, just feel free to put stuff in the comments, anything you would like to see in maybe the next video, or anything that I've missed out in this one, anything else you would like me to explain further, I would be more than happy to do. Thank you for watching. Oh, and if you would like to follow me on Instagram, which I'm starting, and I am on Twitter, both are at late TT party. I can put up photographs of Japan, photographs of these models, other things which won't be in the video. So thank you again for your time, and see you for the next video.